Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review and today I have two really cool mods to review for you guys. First up we'll be taking a look at the Enhanced Chicken Pack version 1.0. File size for this is 35.24 megabytes. This is good for PC or Mac and what this is guys is you have more control over your chickens basically. You can buy and sell your chickens the same as you would with the cows, the sheep and the pigs but now you have to feed them and you get a lot more eggs for it and you can actually breed them and sell the chickens so very very cool mod pack next up we'll be taking a look at the livestock trailer pack chicken edition version 1.0 the file size for that is 25.77 megabytes so guys what I'm going to do is discuss a few things regarding these mods we'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs then I'm going to set this all up explain it to you guys how it works and I think you're really going to like this one guys so stick around and let's get to it okay we're going to start on over here once again this is the enhanced chicken pack version 1.0 the file size is 35.24 megabytes this is for PC or Mac now, the best way to explain this, guys, is I'm going to take you over to the shop first. This is going to be located under your placeable section. Just locate it. There should be four or five different ones. There they are there. One, two, three, four, five. So there's five different setups here in your placeables. Now, I'll explain each one. This is an open chicken pen, and basically, if you have a big enough chicken pen on the farm that you're using right now, you can place this in the chicken pen. And uh, if you have access to inside the fencing, you can put that in there. And there's a couple of triggers out here in the front. Basically, this is not fenced in. So you could put that inside your chicken coop if you have uh, one on your map that's big enough. But this one here, if not, this is a fenced in chicken coop. Same idea with this, but with a fence. Has three different triggers there. Uh, you're going to have to feed them a few different things. Well, you have your choice of three things to feed them. Okay, you can feed them wheat, barley, or corn. You'll have to give them water also. And if you're going to breed them, they'll, they'll need straw if you're going to breed them. So just the grain and the water if you're just going to go do the egg thing. But if you're going to breed them, you're also going to need to put straw in there. So productivity wise, you're going to get 40% from the food and 60% for the water. This here is, you set this up for where you deliver your chickens. You're not going to bring them right to the pen. You're going to use this, set that up. You're not going to be able to put it on here, but close to it. And that's where you're going to go and pick them up and drop them off. The chicken dealer here is where you're going to buy your chickens and where you're going to sell your chickens. Now this one is an actual building that you can drive up to and it has a trigger out in the front and this one is a buildingless one. It's a chicken dealer, same thing, but it's just a trigger by itself. So that's all that explained guys. So that is each of the individual pieces. Now we will go over and take a look at them. All this is free except for the chicken pens themselves. 10,000 for the open and 14,000 for the fenced in. $10 a day maintenance fee and there's what you need guys like I said any one of those three for feed you'll need that if you're gonna breathe them and you need water as well okay so there is the fence stain one right here you got your three different triggers there you're gonna put your food there water there and your straw right there now if you come up to here you're gonna notice you can press the M key that'll activate your menu open that on up and this is gonna tell you everything you need to know guys so there is your food meter, any one of those inside. Same with your water. There's your straw for breeding. Just fill them all up. It's, it depends, same as the other animals, how much to this is gonna hold, depending on how many chickens you have in here. This will show you your productivity of your eggs. And this is how you change it. Now there's a few different settings here, guys. You can set it up standard, so you have to collect the eggs yourself. Now you can go over here to lay eggs basket and what this is, it's kind of neat. I, basically you pay your neighbor's kids a, f a couple of dollars and they'll come over and use a basket and collect them all for you and they'll leave them in the basket and all you have to do is come over and grab the basket. So that's a pretty cool setup and they actually do recommend you use that if you have a lot of chickens. Just saves time and it only costs you like a little bit because you're just paying the kids to help you out. You know what I mean? So that is really cool. Now, if you go over here to breed chickens, you see down here that uh, the time in game it'll take for the next chicken to be born. It'll show your amount of eggs and it'll show your amount of chickens. So that's how the HUD here works, guys. You just have three different settings here. You can go for breeding your chickens, 
laying your eggs with the basket that's the kids collecting them for a few dollars and this one you collect them yourself so there you go here I have the place where you're gonna come and buy and sell your chickens and the only ones I'm not gonna set up basically guys are the uh, that just the original triggers here without the building there's no sense because it's the same thing it's just this one has a building I have one of them set up too and that is I couldn't get it too close to it but I got it fairly close there's the uh, drop off right there okay so with all that out of the way let's go take a look at our trailers so here are the trailers now this is the black version of the uh, Joskin and the Michelanto there's also also the regular colors too this is the livestock trailer pack chicken edition version 1.0 the file size is 25.77 megabytes this is also good for the PC or Mac now like I said there's two different trailers to pick from here the Michelanto is the bigger one here and that's capable of holding 28 cows 42 pigs 48 sheep or 180 chickens the smaller one here is capable of holding six cows 10 pigs nine sheep or 50 chickens now let's go over the shop so there's the four variations of the trailers guys and like the these are just repeated but they're black edition so 24,000 actually that's about 70 or 57,000 maybe it just happened to go on sale just be as I was fast forwarding time so okay guys we will go and we will start filling this up and we'll get it underway okay, I'm over back over here at the chickens I just want to show you something I'm gonna press the M key to activate that now I just got it on the standard one here so I'm gonna collect the eggs myself okay so the first thing we're gonna do is go buy our chickens and I'm gonna grab the old big Michelanto here that's all in black by the way and you can take it with a number plate too guys that you can actually change that the uh, number plate if you want and personalize it I'll show you that right now because I do believe this one has it on there uh, let's bring up this yes it is there's a fog light as well uh, left control and Y and there you go you can set your plate on it so that is really cool I was starting to put the water in there first but uh it only took a little bit. I forgot I gotta put the animals in there first, or it's not gonna you're not gonna be able to put much in there. Okay. So this is gonna work the exact same as the uh, the one at the normal animal dealers. There's your chickens right there. Use your scroll wheel to get them up faster. 180 I could fit in here. 180 is gonna cost me 18,000. Pretty cheap. I do believe I have a cheaper animals mod in here, so I can't you can't really go by that. I'm pretty sure I do get a mod in here. I kind of forgot about that. You can see the roof goes up as well. And the decals. De decals. So look at all the chickens in the back. <laughs> so I get 180 chickens on board. You can see the uh, little symbol for it down in the bottom right. Okay, let's go drop these off. So you will have to drop them off. Remember what I said, right by that little sign there. Wherever you set up the sign, that's going to be your drop off and your pickup if you're gonna sell them so there we go why do I only have 24 in there okay there's already some in there okay so we have 204 yeah there was already I think it counts the ones you already have in your regular chicken coop so confirm yes and they're all inside good okay let's get this guy to the side and we can start filling it up yeah, this is a really neat mod. I think I'm going to be adding it to this map. If you're wondering what map this is, by the way, this is my Spectacle Island. It's only a tiny little map, and it would be ideal for something like this. Great map for this mod. It might be easier to back right up to it. I'm just so used to driving across these things. There we go, guys. So, yeah, I can put a lot more in now. Over 200 chickens. So what one did the water go in? That was actually the second one there. So yeah guys, once again you could feed them either wheat, barley, or corn. Keeping them well fed is going to keep their productivity up 40% and the other 60% is going to come from the from the water. Figures, it goes in so easy the first time and then when I'm demonstrating it, it's fighting with me. <laughs> I swear it just poured right in easy the first time. There we go okay maximum feed for six days see that's what it used to be in in farming simulator 15 you used to have to buy your chickens you used to have to feed your chickens 
and it was good for like a longer amount of time too okay so they are fed and watered so we'll get productivity up here now press the M key and look at that so we don't have any straw in there because we're not in breeding mode but you can see right here we have uh, eggs in the coop we have one 204 chickens so let's go back we'll fast forward time here I'm gonna pop it up to 120 press M again and we'll watch the productivity here see I think it counts the eggs over here as well so I'm actually gonna collect these three just to get them out of the way see they don't oh there's more than that here yeah I don't have them up for the kids to see I'm put I got it set up so I'm collecting them yeah, I was wondering why the eggs weren't appearing in the bucket there. I had to keep going over there, but I forgot to confirm it, guys. So just press the M key. When you're going to change that from standard to them picking up the basket, you got to press OK, and then it's going to tell you to give you a warning here. Are you sure you want to pay for neighbors' children? 3% of each egg value goes to collect your eggs and store them in the chicken coop basket. So, yeah, they get 3% of it, which isn't very much. You don't get a whole lot for eggs anyway, so I'm going to confirm that. Now you will see them start building up in there. So I'm just going to fast forward time, press M, and watch what happens. Okay, that's close enough. So back, see all the eggs in there now? Okay, let's collect them. You gotta press C, see up in the menu? Press C to collect them. See again. Let me uh, take my speed down here. They'll just keep popping up. Right here, down by the waterfront. So, go in here, sell my eggs. I just got a thousand dollars. See, there wasn't even that many there either. Okay, so, back to the farm. Now, let's change this up. Let's start breeding our chickens. So, press the M key. We're going to go over to breed chickens. See, we need that, but I'm going to press OK for now. We need straw. So let's go get some straw out of our uh, grasshopper here. So they need straw to breed. See, uh, I'm pretty sure if you backed into those triggers, you'd probably have an easier go at it. Okay, that's filled for six days. Let's go over here, press the M key. See, the straw is in there now. Productivity, the chickens, that'll go up in a second. Okay, so let's fast forward time. And you'll see down here this number will change to how long it's going to take. There you go. 2 hours 35 minutes in game time. So when that passes, you'll see that turn to 205. So let's watch. Okay, you can see the chickens go up. So, I mean, it doesn't seem that fast, but I mean, you got to consider every two hours and 50 minutes, you're going to have another chicken. So, you know, you're going to get close to about 10 chickens a day, give or take, right? So that's pretty decent and great for a smaller farm for sure. But I love this idea. What a great idea. Okay, let's slow down time here. Let's grab our animal transport. We'll sell what chickens we have. I'm just going to grab as many as I can. Confirm. Okay, 180 chickens aboard. I know I didn't breed that many, but I'm just basically showing that, that you can pick them up and sell them. Okay, out you go. Let's see what we get for this. Confirm. 10,800. Not bad. So, there you have it, guys. I'm not going to bother uh, 
reviewing the jaw skin because it's the exact same as the other one it just holds less animals that's it so there you have it guys that was the enhanced chicken pack version 1.0 the file size for that is 35.24 megabytes next up we took a look at the livestock trailer pack chicken edition version 1.0 file size for that is 25.177 megabytes additional information and links can be found down below in the description guys i really hope you enjoyed today's review if you did maybe you can leave a like on your way out and if you're new to the channel why don't you go ahead and click on nick right there in the middle of your screen and i'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and let's plays every other day plus my patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help and contribute to a smaller channel it really helps out so until next time take care and i will see you all in the next one